Good morning, everybody. Oh, I have been so tired lately, and I really don't know why. Like, I don't know what's been going on with me, but I'm like abnormally tired, and I think it's just the past few months of constantly staying out late, being with friends, having plans, driving everywhere, traveling. I think it's just that all catching up to me, and my body is like, girl, you need to chill. So, this mech. This next month, I'm chilling. I'm not drinking for the next month. Um, I am not going out at all. I don't have friends visiting me. The next time I travel is I'm going home for Chloe's graduation, but like that doesn't even count as travel because I'm just gonna be going home. I'm not gonna be like doing things. And then in June, I go to Australia. So I need to rest before Australia because I know that that's going to be an exhausting vacation. Anyways, I wanted to film a little day in my life for you guys. Um, today I'm working from home. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do working from home. It's gonna be a really fun day. Um, my friends are also coming over and we're gonna cook tonight and I'm just really excited um, But first things first I did not want to work out at all But I'm doing form by Sammy Clark So I looked at the schedule today and it was 30 minute workout and I was like I can do that I can do a 30 minute workout. Like That's not that's not bad. I'm gonna go downstairs go to the gym and do a quick 30 minute workout breakfast so i just made some toast i use dave's um good bread i think is what it's called and then i use this cream cheese that's literally has like no ingredients in it um i'll show you it afterwards and then i eat chicken apple sausage i cut it up and put it in the air fryer and it makes it literally perfect like the perfect amount of crispy burntness i love it and then i have hot sauce for the chicken sausage because i just have a problem and i need hot sauce with everything but let me show you guys what i use this green valley creamery organic cream cheese is so good i think it tastes delicious and if you look at the ingredients it's made with four ingredients organic pasteurized cultured milk or cultured cream which is milk lactose enzyme sea salt live and active cultures like that's literally it there's no gums um it's organic i don't know i just am trying to eat a lot cleaner and then dave's good bread i don't know if this is necessarily healthier i just love it and i'm gonna keep getting this and then the chicken apple sausage that i use is just from whole foods oh the hot sauce i also want to show you the hot sauce this is by far my favorite hot sauce it's really spicy but it is so good and i am a hot sauce fanatic this is my favorite one it has organic carrot citrus and garlic blend and it will make your tongue burn but it's really really good i don't know I just showered and I wanted to come on here and thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Jove's. It is a global innovative personal care brand and I'm using them for laser hair removal at home at the comfort of my own home. I have gotten laser hair removal in the past. It's been about four-ish years, maybe even more. It's like four to five years ago. And so hair grows back. So I've been just doing it at home that you can do in literally five minutes. I do my bikini area, get that all cleared up. I do my underarms, done my arms, but I don't do it right now just because I am getting some sun. So I don't want to do it when I am like outside in the sun a lot. But my underarms and my bikini and my upper lip is what I have been doing just at home. It is incredible because I can get it done so quickly and it is pain free. I get a lot of questions if laser hair removal hurts. It, it, this one at home doesn't hurt and it is effective. The reason why it doesn't hurt is because it actually like frosts up and it's at five degrees Celsius. So that's the temperature of the product. So you constantly feel like a cool sensation when you're doing your laser hair removal, which usually when you go somewhere else to do it, 
it kind of feels like it's burning and that is what makes it hurt and what i like about this one is that you can choose from six different intensity models so i started at a one because i just wanted to start to see like how my body reacted to it and i've worked my way up all the way to a five and i'm telling you it's still pain free even if you are at a five or a six it's not a standard setting for the tool it's really customizable and what i personally love about it is that the head rotates so when i'm in my bikini area it's flexible there's nothing more uncomfortable than like having a tool that like doesn't doesn't fit right down there you're you're getting the weird angles like you need something a little more flexible and joves offers the most effective way to actually remove your hair pain-free because of the ipl technology that it has and what's just amazing about it is that you can do it at home especially if you're someone who doesn't have time to spend hundreds of dollars on laser appointments go into the store every few weeks like you can get the same effective treatment at home it's just a lot more comfortable and with this technology it actually in it removes the hair follicle, but it makes it stay gone for a longer period of time. So you're actually gonna see more results doing this. If you guys want to check out Jove's Beauty and check out this device for your at home laser hair removal, I'm gonna have it linked down below. I highly recommend it. You guys know I have been a very hairy person for a very long time. I've talked about it in the past, got made fun of a lot. And now it's really nice because I can do this at home and be hair free. Especially living in Miami, I'm always in like a bikini here, like, it's just it's just nice to to not have to worry anymore so definitely feel free to check it out i'm gonna have it in the description and thank you joves for sponsoring today's video <laughs>spent the time content planning so i wanted to plan out my content for the next month specifically youtube and my podcast stuff so i'm obviously using rella if you guys haven't used rella definitely check it out to plan all of your content and just organize and manage your business as a content creator so for example i have a podcast going out every monday so i just did a to-do list within the podcast post so i had to write the outline and send it over which i had done before recording sending the video podcast to my editor scheduling all of the tiktok clips like i want to put that in my calendar you can also drag and drop on the calendar which is a newer feature we got a lot of requests for that and then for example this budget with me video i want to make this video a sponsored video i do work with some sponsors long term so i decided that this one was going to be one of those and i rearranged it on my calendar then I'm just going in and adding my YouTube videos for the month. So for example, today's video, which is the Joves sponsor and it's a day in my life, I'm going in and I'm adding it on the calendar. I'm making sure that the preview date is up there so I know when I need to send this video in by. I'm attaching it to my sponsored post and it's living on the calendar. You can also sync anything with Rella onto Google Calendar. So if you're someone like me that uses Google Calendar, it doesn't need to be separate. Like everything on Rella can go on Google so you don't forget. The good thing about Rella is that it just integrates with your workflow. It's specifically made for creators in mind. So for for example, the to-do list, the preview dates, sponsorship details, like all of that you can't do on Google Calendar. A lot of people that have been using Rella also use or used to use tools like Notion, but personally, I'm going to be biased, but Notion is not made for content creators. Yes, you can download and pay for templates, but that is not who it's like demographic is we specifically are made with content creators in mind so i'm just going through making sure i have everything and then also you can do like to-do lists on rella so aside from a to-do list within an individual post you can also just do it separately so for example on like i need to reactivate the real real instagram again because i want to start uploading all of my reels onto there instead of on my personal account so i have there you have it like all my ideas my to-do list my posts and it just makes it so much easier one thing I love about working from home is that I can do a face mask throughout the day um, and no one's gonna tell me anything. So, right now I got a few packages. I have no idea what they are. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I think this is Mr. Beast's snacks. I think his team DM'd me. If you're hungry, yep, it is. Fun fact, I've never watched a Mr. Beast video. Never, ever, ever. Like, obviously I know who he is, but 
I have never once watched one of his videos. Um, what is this? Crunch bar, milk chocolate bar with puffed rice. Um, this one is milk chocolate. I think it's just milk chocolate. And lastly, we have these nuts fitting. Milk chocolate with peanut butter. Yum. All right, thank you, Mr. Beast team. Now let's see. This says fragile and it also says keep frozen, which I did not do, so let's hope it's fine. I need smoothies. Oh gosh, this is not frozen and there's no ice in here. It's like things are leaking. Something leaked. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not frozen anymore, but I think that's hopefully fine. It's like, like these are ginger. You just like put them in your smoothie, I guess. There are something leaked in here though and it smells. Mint. Okay, I need to put these in the freezer and like wash. Oh gosh, they exploded. That's what it is. Look at that. Second coffee of the day. Much, much, much needed. Oh, I don't know why I'm so tired. It's only 2.40. <laughs> So I just got done with a few meetings and I have gotten a few things off my to-do list. I still have another meeting today, which I really, really wanna cancel. And then I have a few other things I need to do. Do you deal with rejection? And we're gonna talk about this in like a romantic way. I feel like for girls, there's a lot of times we deal with rejection with delusion. Okay, have you ever rejected anyone like that has come up to you at a bar? I do one of these numbers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I always lie about my number. I like change one number, always. Being persistent has not worked. I don't think it's a good strategy I for just, any guys out there listening. Yeah. I'm not persistent. <laughs> you give me any sort of hesitation, I'm like, I just got done doing some work outside and then I finished my friend podcast. So I had my friends come over a few weeks ago and we recorded a podcast together and I edited the video for this one because I just have like a vision of how I want these video podcasts to go. And usually if it's just like done in my office, it's fine to just like send it off to my editor. But I just wanted, this one was like kind of complicated in the sense of just a lot of zooming in on certain moments and when people are speaking and I just like wanted to edit it myself. So I finished editing that. That is not going up though until the following week. So I'm kind of like, I'm uploading, my schedule's a little weird with like, sometimes I'm so ahead, like, wow, I'm like a week ahead on this. And then other times I'm two weeks behind and like I'll upload a video podcast way after it was released on audio. So I'm not the most reliable when it comes to that, but my friends are coming over um, They already left and so I need to clean up a little bit. I need to take the trash out. I need to clean up um, Because I, it's a little messy not too bad, but I just need to like tidy up So that's what I'm gonna do clean up the apartment something smells my fridge is not that cold and I think food rots in there very 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 quickly like I need to cook things very quickly um, because it's just like not very cold at all and so I'm calling someone to come and get it fixed but it just like makes my kitchen smell bad which is kind of gross so I'm gonna go and empty out some things in the fridge and like light a candle or something because I want it to smell better <laughs> Thank you.